We've been seeing those warm temperatures even last night, only cooling into the 80s for those overnight lows, then picking it back up this morning. Very fast getting into those 90s and then into those triple digits and reaching again another above average afternoon. 98 for that average actually reached 106 for that afternoon high. That actually ties that previous record that we had set back in 1989. And we're also seeing those lows last night, still seeing that above average trend, 80 as compared to that average of 72. And that's going to continue over these next several afternoons. Currently seeing, still seeing those triple digits. 106 here in downtown San Angelo, 50 degrees for that dew point. So not entirely humid out there. Very dry, actually. Humidity only sitting at 15% with those winds right now out of the south at 10 miles per hour. And that temperature change. Again, seeing those temperatures continuing to increase over these next several afternoons, seeing about a four degree increase from what we saw at this time yesterday across the Concho Valley for most of us. Some of us only seeing about a three degree increase. But nonetheless, all of us still continuing to increase those temperatures. All of us in those triple digits. Again, looking out at the current temperatures across the Concho Valley, the coolest temperature seems to be 101 out in Big Lake. But for the most part, all of us seeing those triple digits. And we're going to be seeing those triple digits for these next several days. Even across the state of Texas, it seems like we're almost all sitting in those triple digits. Only a couple of us holding off into the 90s, upper 90s, 98 in Houston. And then you'll see those triple digits across the rest of the state as we're all seeing those warm temperatures. And through these next 12 hours, we're kind of reaching our peak heating around right now. Over the next couple of hours, we'll start to slowly and gradually cool down into those 90s and 80s and possible upper 70s for those overnight lows. And that forecast for tonight, again, 78. Last night only reached 80, but we'll be back in those upper 70s for those lows tonight with those warm temperatures still sticking around. And even for tomorrow, continuing to increase those temperatures. 108 for that afternoon high. Sunshine and heat are really making their name noticed in those winds out of the south southwest at 15 miles per hour and that daily planner for that Tuesday again continuing through our work week 79 as we're waking up in the morning again that's going to be the coolest part of our day 8 a.m. going to noon already into those 90s 99 by noon with those south southwesterly winds at 15 miles per hour and getting close to peak heating around 4 p.m. that's when we're going to be reaching those triple digits 108 possible and for most of those portions of the Concha Valley and with those hot temperatures that's why we're we're seeing those heat warnings in place for the entire Concho Valley. It seems like we're seeing the excessive heat warning for almost all of the area, but we do see Reagan County holding out just seeing that heat advisory. So it'll be just a tad bit cooler than the rest of us. But again, all of us need to remember to drink that water, stay in the shade, make sure you're taking breaks over these next several afternoons as we're going to be seeing these hot temperatures and triple digits in that seven day forecast. Again, a gradual cool down, but again, very slowly cooling down to a little bit of a cooler temperatures through the weekend.